If you're looking for the best laptop in Blender, you found the right video. I'm gonna walk you through from the budget category all the way up to more of the high-end laptops equipped with 3080 Ti's. And I'm gonna explain the specs so you know exactly what you're picking, why you're picking it, so you can make the right purchasing decision for your specific needs. First and foremost, we're gonna start off in the budget category. And we're gonna be looking at laptops such as the Acer Nitro 5, the HP Victus, and the Lenovo Legion 5, Dell Gaming G15, Acer Swift X, and the Asus Rogue Flow X13. Now these laptops are gonna be good for Blender. And by what I mean by good is like, you're just using it here and there as maybe a hobby. It's not something you're doing on a professional level. It's not something you're doing maybe for client work. It's just more of a hobbyist activity at this point. The reason being is those RTX 3050s and 3050 Ti's have about four gigs of VRAM and they score quite a bit lower on the benchmark charts than say even a 3060 and especially 3070s, 3070 Ti's and 3080s. So I think the entry level is definitely gonna be the RTX 3050Ti and you definitely need a dedicated GPU for running Blender. It is a very heavy software and needs a lot of graphical performance. I would not recommend trying to run Blender without a dedicated GPU. Now as far as the processor is concerned, you can definitely get away with an i5-12500H or say a Ryzen 5 5600H or 6600H. That shouldn't be an issue. But where I would honestly be focused more in putting my money, if I were you, is focusing on getting slightly better GPU. So if you can find a laptop with an i5-12500H and an RTX 3060 or even a 3070, that would be much better than say an i7-12700H with an RTX 3050 Ti. Focus on the graphical performance when making your decision, especially with Blender. All right, so these would be some great entry-level laptops. I know they're not necessarily cheap, but they will get you started around the $1,000 price point. Now, as we move up to more of the mid-range, you're gonna be looking at stuff like the HP Omen, the Asus Zephyrus G15, M16, and G14, the Asus Republic of Gamers Strix G15, the Lenovo Legion 7 Slim and 7i Slim, as well as the Legion 5i and 5i Pro. These are great laptops, specifically the Legion 5i and 5i Pro would probably be one of my top picks on this lineup of the mid-range laptops. The reason being is they have such amazing performance packed into such a well-built and well-designed laptop. And even if you get last year's model, say the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro with the Ryzen 7 5800H and RTX 3060, as you can see on the Blender benchmark charts, it still kills it. So you could actually get last year's model, probably find it on sale and really be off to the races with Blender. So that would definitely be my recommendation. However, the Asus Republic of Gamer Zephyrus G14 is a great compact on-the-go laptop. The HP Omen is a very nice budget-friendly laptop, so you can't beat that. And there's some great options here for you. But note that, like I was saying in the slide before, if you can get an RTX 3060 or 3070 Ti in kind of the mid-range price point, I think you'll be off to a really good start with a laptop for Blender. As far as RAM is concerned, I think 16 gigs of RAM is definitely a minimum, but if you can get up to 32 gigs, that will definitely help you get a little more ceiling for your use inside of Blender. Now looking at the Apple MacBook Pro lineup, I definitely recommend the M1 Pro and M1 Max. As you can see on the benchmark charts, obviously the M1 Max is gonna be equal performance to around the RTX 3070 Ti. This is what I saw in my test last year when I reviewed the MacBook Pro for the first time, and I'm still seeing that here inside of Blender. So when you're comparing a Windows laptop to say the MacBook Pro M1 Max, you are thinking RTX 3070 Ti versus the MacBook Pro. That's gonna be your equal trading point. So let's say you could get this M1 Max for around $3,600, but you could get a M16, an Asus Zephyrus M16 for around $1,800. Well, that might convince you towards the M16 because it's about half the price. That's something you have to decide on your own for your pricing decision, what OS you like, all that jazz. And if you want the live pricing of any of the models I'm talking about here in this video, you can head down in the description below and click that link. If you do make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. I'm so grateful when you all use those links. Try to have international and both US based links in there for you guys. All right, now moving forward, checking out the mid range to high end laptops. You can see here we have the MSI Creator M16, the Dell XPS 15, 
Gigabyte Aero 16 OLED, and the ASUS ProArch Studio Book Pro 16. Now keep in mind here, the Dell XPS 15 hits this spot in the laptop lineup because of its price point. It is not, in my opinion, the best laptop for Blender, but if you're somebody who wants a premium laptop, great build quality, really, really nice features, good battery life, great color accuracy on the screen, then the Dell XPS might be your pick. However, it is an RTX 3050 or 3050 Ti, depending on how you get it configured, and that is not very suitable for mainstream Blender use. It's more of you're a Blender hobbyist at this point. You're not somebody getting paid for professional work. I would definitely steer you towards the Gigabyte Aero 16 with that RTX 3070 Ti. That one really packs a punch. Or the new Asus ProArt StudioBook Pro 16. That packs a punch as well with a 3070. So those would be my recommendations. But if you want more of a premium laptop and you want to dabble in Blender a little bit, the XPS could be a good pick for you. The ones that we're going to be tearing through now are going to be the most high-end GPU equipped laptops. That's gonna be stuff like the GT77 Titan. This is a beast of a 17 inch laptop, has a 3080 Ti, has the best score in Blender that I have seen from my studio so far, has the i9-12900HX processor, it is a screaming Blender laptop. The Acer Predator Triton 500 SE is also a great pick with the RTX 3080 Ti and an i9-12900H. And then of course the Razer Blade 15s are great in the Lenovo ThinkPad Extreme Gen 5. The nice thing about the Lenovo ThinkPad Gen 5 is you got a variety of SKUs and choices and configurations you can pick over on Lenovo's website. And so you can jump in there get more of a budget-friendly one or load it up and get a really, really beast of a Blender laptop. Now you've seen kind of the benchmarks scattered throughout the video and I've tried to explain the specs as I've gone, but if you have any questions, definitely comment below and let me know. Either myself or somebody from the community can answer those questions for you. Otherwise, links if you're ready to make a purchase, likes if this video has brought you some value, and subs if you don't wanna miss out on the future uploads. I'll see you here in the next one.